Hi everyone and welcome to three successful things offline entrepreneurs do and how to emulate those same strategies to help you grow and scale your business online. Hi everyone, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Maria Fontana and I'm CEO of Maria Fontana Consulting, also known as the Entrepreneur's Business Coach. So what I do is I help entrepreneurs mostly in the beauty and transformational industry, optimize their businesses by giving them proven strategies to really make their business get to the next level. I am a 33 year business owner of offline practices, six offline practices, two online practices, and I bring my experience and training and education, I marry those all together, and that is how I help you really get your business to where it needs to be. I am not an Insta coach, I am a real offline consultant that helps businesses who are ready to really take their business to the next level. So, what is a you know, so many people in the online space nowadays are so jaded because there's all this confusion of Insta businesses passive income, and all this I'm gonna get rich quick nonsense, which is just not realistic in the real world. As my good friend, childhood friend Gary V always says, there is no such thing as passive income. You have to put the work in and then invest in two things that are gonna really work for you, which could be real estate or some great stocks and you know investments. And I agree with that. So what is happening is this. So there's, there's a big difference in the offline space. Entrepreneurs, it was a risk. When you became an entrepreneur in the offline space years ago, before the whole internet craze began and all the Insta coaching nonsense started, you had to have a plan. So the first thing that offline entrepreneurs who are successful guys and have longevity, meaning they have a sustainable real business, it's not a fly-by-night business. They can support their family on that business. They can buy a home with that business. It is their livelihood. And they can retire from that business. So I am talking to real entrepreneurs, real business people. If, if you think that just having an instant business makes you a real entrepreneur, you're mistaken and you may need to sit back and really listen to what I have to say. Once again, I'm coming to you with 33 years experience. I didn't just take an online course and start teaching people nonsense. Okay, here we go. So the first thing that offline entrepreneurs do is they show up consistently. Now, what does that mean? So they show up consistently, meaning they show up in, their, in the same energy every day. They take great care of themselves. They work on themselves personally to make sure their energy is aligned with their employees as a leader, as a friend, as someone that is really taking their business entity to the next level. So energy, showing up in that same energy. So what that means is showing up in the same energy for clients when they're one-on-one -on -one with their clients or when they're one-on-one -on -one with their staff or when they're leading their team and really showing and teaching. Energy is super important because if the leader is not showing up in the right energy, the rest of the tribe cannot follow suit on that same level. And leaders who are not energetically aligned tend to not have successful businesses in comparison to leaders who are very energetically aligned. So um, it also means showing up the same in the same energy when you're around town, when they're in their local business area, when they're out of town, when they're showing up online for social media, when they're doing things online or speaking, you need to show up. If you want to be a successful entrepreneur in the real business world, you have to be that same person, no matter where you're showing up, being online, offline, at a party, your brand is you. So for, if you don't show up authentically, which it's also another overused word, but the truth of the matter is successful offline entrepreneurs show up authentically and consistently in their energy and in everything they do. So there's no confusion. You know exactly who you're talking to. You know exactly what you get. Number two, something huge that I see a lot of new online entrepreneurs not focusing on, and there, I think it's a lack of confusion, lack of knowledge. I mean, there is confusion because there's lack of knowledge, and it is they don't have a solid plan. So once again, 
an offline entrepreneur cannot start a business without a plan, a business plan, a financial plan of some sort. Where is this business going to be? How much is it going to cost? What's the overhead going to be? What, what kind of money do we need? What kind of cash flow are we going to need? What kind of credit are we going to need? What kind of supplies are we going to need? What kind of equipment? What kind of you know, money for salaries? Of course, this is all tailored to whatever type of business you have. If you're a solopreneur, then that plan may look different. But guess what? You still need a business plan. You need a business plan with financials. You need a business plan that's going to help you figure out your profits, your loss, what your goals are, your three-month goals, your six-month goals, your one-year goal. I'm a fan of daily, weekly, monthly goals, and then moving on past that. Because let's face the facts, guys. If you don't have a strategic plan and you're not paying attention to your numbers, math, you got to do the math. And so many people, once again, I see people, I'm leaving my nine to five, I'm leaving my, that's great if you have a plan and you did the math because you can't just leave your nine to five unless you have a plan and, and did the math, unless you have tons of money in the bank that's gonna sustain you while you're building your business. But without a plan, I can assure you, you're most likely gonna fail. And once again, you might not like what I'm saying too, because a lot of people are blowing smoke up people's asses, telling them nonsense. It's not true. You need a strategic plan with a business plan that's got money and math involved. Because what I'm seeing is a lot of new entrepreneurs, especially in the online space, they're like, oh, I ran out of money, or oh, I don't have money for advertising, oh, I don't have money for marketing. Everything works together in a very balanced scale. You can't just decide you're gonna throw yourself into having a business, but not have a long-term plan is, how much money am I gonna invest in marketing monthly? What marketing plan am I gonna use? What works best for me? How am I going to get out there and get my business known? Am I going to be a high level business or am I going to be a low level business? And am I going to have cheap prices? Or am I going to have high level prices? You know, again, you have to have all of this strategically planned out. Now, it doesn't mean, which is going to bring me to number three, that you can't switch out what you do. Because as an entrepreneur and in business, as you grow and as you evolve and as you scale, you may start to see, you know what, this doesn't really align with me. This really worked better. And as you see your analytics and you see the facts of what your business is doing, you may fine tune your niche, which simply means narrow down exactly who you're working with to a more perfect person that's energetically aligned with you or that fits your background better or that was your perfect client. You may you know, slightly shift what you're doing, which is totally fine. But in the beginning, you need to have a plan and a vision of where you're going or you're going to go nowhere. So what happens is when you have a business plan and when you have a strategic laid out plan of what you're doing every day, what you're doing every week, what your goals are, what your financial goals are going to be, how much money you have, there's no surprises. That's what real business is. There's no surprises. You have a plan. Yes, does stuff go wrong? Of course it does, because that's real life. But with a strategic plan, you can know what to expect. And by knowing what to expect, you know what actions to take. In bite-sized nuggets, things are so much more manageable. Which takes me to number three. What offline entrepreneurs have, successful offline entrepreneurs have that you can emulate to bring your business online. And guys, that is they take action. So many people are like, oh, I want passive income. I want to become, you know, have all this money, all this residual income. That concept is great, but in real business, you have to take action and have flexibility. There is no quick fix, number one. Passive income is something you get to when you're at a scaling level after your business is established. And once again, passive income, it depends. A lot of people are making millions with these Insta coaching strategies and, and they're ripping people off. I think that's a short term way to live. You really have to look at what your business core is. What are your values? What's your mission statement? Why are you even in business? Do you know why? Most offline entrepreneurs I ask that question to, which is the majority of my client base, 
they're very clear on what their mission statement is and they're very clear on what their values are and they're very clear as to what their goals are going to be yes do we work together to change things to optimize them to shift them to stop doing things that no longer work absolutely but there has to be clarity and clear vision as to why you're doing what you're doing also i want you guys to remember Wasting time all day long on non-productive nonsense like Facebook per se, how many hours a day, I want you to be honest, are you wasting on social media that is not productive to generating you leads or relationships online? And be honest with yourself. I know it's hours and hours because so many people fall into this trap. You need to focus on the 20% of what's working and where your money's coming from because that brings you in 80% of your profits. I'm sure you've heard this before. It's one of the truest things that I can share with you guys. So really taking a good hard look at your business, being mindful of stepping away from social media. Social media is a branch guys, a little itty bitty twig in the big tree of business. It is not the foundation. It is a twig which you use for your marketing strategies only if it is aligned with your business who you're talking to, and you need to know who those people are. Once again, you should have your niche and your message down pat. If you need any help or support with that, feel free. Just book a call, hop on a call with me. I'd be more than happy to support you because I know so many entrepreneurs do struggle with this. And once again, you may need to fine tune and change as you grow and evolve in your practice. So don't be hard on yourself. So focusing on that 20%, of what's going to make you 80% of the profits is where your energy needs to be. And honestly, the only way to know that is if you're an experienced entrepreneur and you're shifting your career or you're starting to expand into a different realm, maybe you're bringing your business online, which I see a lot of offline entrepreneurs doing, that's great. But don't get lost following the herds. You need to have a plan. And once you have a plan, you need to evaluate and check in with that plan and say, you know what? Let me audit what's going on. How did I do this month? Look at your numbers. Look at your math. What worked? Did your Facebook videos work? Did they generate you leads? Did they generate you relationships? Did they generate you business? Did they generate you clients in your chair, in your business? If not, where did those clients come from? So once again, these are all strategies of doing a really good business audit of your business and figuring out, remove things that don't work and that just suck up your time. And then you could take that time and put it towards working on your business and not in your business. Because we need to, as offline entrepreneurs, that's another thing, offline entrepreneurs spend a lot of time working on their business. They're not physically in their business. Does that make sense, guys? So I hope these few tips and tools really resonated with you. Once again, I specialize in helping beauty and transformational experts really scale their businesses with proven business strategies so you can get to the next level. This is something that you have to analyze. In the online world, there's mass confusion and there's a lot of things that don't really resonate with real business. If you'd like some help, if you need some feedback on anything, like once again, guys, don't be shy. I am happy to get on a phone call with you. Just book in at mariafontana.com. And think about what you're doing. I want you to just stop today, get a pen and paper and be like, you know what? Am I really analyzing my business? Am I really focusing on what's the 20% of what's bringing me the 80% of profit? Or am I wasting time doing things that are non-productive? So here's wishing you all a wonderful day. Looking forward to our next workshop. Have a great day, guys. Take care.